Hello everyone, welcome to another anatomy tutorial here at Ken Hub. My name is Wong, and today we're going to be talking about a nerve, the mandibular nerve. Now, during this tutorial, we will be looking at uh, the mandibular nerve, as I mentioned, its branches, and a few other related structures. Now, on this image right on your screen, you can see the left side of the skull with a lot of structures here, a lot of muscles, and clearly some nerves here in yellow that we're going to be talking about. Now, notice that the skull is cut here on the zygomatic bone and also here on the mandible. So we can also see another cut here that we did on mainly on the parietal bone that then exposes this structure here, a bit of the brain stem. And you see here another structure known as a trigeminal nerve, which will then branch into the focus of this tutorial right here, which is the mandibular nerve. But before we start describing the mandibular nerve, let me first show you here this highlight, which is essentially highlighting one of the 12 cranial nerves, which is named the trigeminal nerve. So this structure right here highlighted in green. And as you can probably remember from our previous tutorials, this is a mixed nerve, meaning that it carries both motor and sensory fibers. But what exactly means and the name trigeminal? Now, tri means a three or having three, which in this case means that the trigeminal nerve has three major branches, the ophthalmic nerve, which you see a little bit here, the maxillary nerve, which you see a little bit here as well, and the focus of our tutorial, which is right here, the mandibular nerve. Now let's have a closer look at this structure here, which you now see highlighted in green. This is known as the trigeminal ganglion. Now the trigeminal ganglion is a group of cell bodies and is located within this cavity right here that I'm showing you. And this cavity is known as the trigeminal cave or Meckel's cave. Now the trigeminal ganglion is a sensory ganglion that contains the afferent cell bodies of the three branches of the trigeminal nerve. And these branches can be seen here on this image a bit more clearly. So you can see here the ophthalmic nerve or the ophthalmic branch of the trigeminal nerve right here. Again, you see here the maxillary nerve and the focus of this tutorial, the mandibular nerve. The ophthalmic and maxillary nerves only carry sensory fibers, whereas the mandibular nerve carries both sensory and motor fibers. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at KenHub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and Atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.